and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Monday. We have four really cool looking donation decks. This first one is going to be called Victor 3000 because this deck is going to have the new card that I have not actually played yet. First time, Adaptatron 3000. This tech card, one mana, one three. When you summon a tech, we share keywords. And so we're going to have that with some different tech cards. We're going to have Production Surge, be able to put some random turrets uh, into play. And then, of course, Heimerdinger. So anytime that we make turrets, um, like this turret has tough, right? We, we put that into play. And now the Adaptatron has tough. And so it says share. And so that means it both it and the other tech have to be in play. But now the Adaptatron is tough. So the next turret that we play, um, you know, maybe we play the Fearsome turret. That gives the Adaptatron Fearsome. So now the Adaptatron is both tough and Fearsome. And so then it gives both tough and Fearsome to both other techs, um, both other turrets as well. So that's that's really cool. Um, so we're going to combine that um, with uh, with Victor, with Creative Cards. Um, and of course, Victor has has all the keyword type stuff. So lots of keywords in here. So we're gonna have two mechanized mimic um, that can get all the keywords. Also, we're gonna have one one copy of Sumpworks map that we can Sumpworks map and Adaptatron to give the Adaptatron elusive, and therefore it will give all the other text elusive as well. And then we have two copies of Gifts from Beyond. So Ballistic Bots are only two drop, which is a great two drop for Gifts from Beyond. But these other uh, keywords, like Lifesteal is a really good keyword. We can put the Severum on the Adaptatron to give it Lifesteal, and then boom, all of our other turrets also now have Lifesteal. That could be really cool, or Overwhelm. You know, either, you know, we can use either of those uh, keywords on that. And this is just, of course, a really useful card that can just do a lot of different things. So that's really cool with the Adaptatron. And then finally, we have one copy of Give It All at the top end um, that can, uh, you know, just spread out all those keywords to everything and make it permanent and also raise the power and health of everything also. Um, so that's <laughs> that seems really, really cool. Um, also, the fangs uh, with... with um, how we have two of these, how we can invoke a celestial card. There's the two mana celestial card that gives plus zero, plus two, and spell shield. And Bastion also grants spell shield. And so if we give Adaptatron spell shield, then now our turrets will have spell shield also. That could be that could be that also be really cool. Anyway, that's our deck. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Great meme tier deck here. Let's go ahead and go play our five games in normal. That's what we always do on meme tier day. All right, so it looks like we're playing against the Cythria combo deck. Spectral Matron Cythria. I don't think they play any landmarks. Let's go and mulligan that, mulligan that. I'll just keep the beam and an Adaptatron. All right, so we got two Adaptatrons. I'm just saving the spell mana to start with because of Thermogenic Beam. We did, you'd, we don't have to just throw Adaptatron immediately out there. It's just a generic 1-3. Alright, so Lari Priestess. I may regret not taking Falling Comet if I don't take Falling Comet. Yeah, I mean, I'll just take Fallen Comet. Like, Written in Stars you know, has some pretty high upside, but... Fallen Comet, like, 6 mana is really nice with Heimer. Yeah, I think, yeah, I agree. This could be a difficult matchup. We'll have to see. Break their spirits and their souls. Why wow, are Protégés always so good? Always so good. Mobilize. That'll make everything cheaper, of course. Safety is engaged. 
I'm just gonna wait to play Heimer next round. That's pretty broken. Uh, it's just Shivana. This is the Cythria Spectral Matron Cythria combo deck. Yeah, that's, that's super, super scary. Double Dragon Chow with Shivana. And of course, Mobilize. Uh, very scary. Can you improve perfection? So great start for them. Looking pretty bad for me. Looking quite bad for me. Dang. Those dragons are awesome. <laughs> Shivana and Screeching Dragon are awesome. Yeah. They're playing it very well. Yeah, production surge is good with with Adaptatron. We can't really beat Screeching Dragon, right? Like, that's, like, one of the best cards in, like, just even in the game against us. Just, like, big challengers, right? Like, we're, we're, like, all about, like, playing small units and stuff like that. Like, big challenger is just amazing against Timer. Fresh catch. So this is well, it was fresh. Uh, not going to be a good matchup. If they have, like, no interaction spell right now, I could do, like, 13 damage to them. Which may be just, like, what I need to do. No, we made two one ones. But three one ones. That's not a very good production surge. I definitely wanted only like two or three units, not four. Oh. Wait. So this this Adaptatron doesn't It doesn't give the other things elusive? That's not how that card works? I thought that's how that card works. Wow, this card is not nearly as good as I thought it was. So it'll grant it'll grant elusive and fearsome to future, but it doesn't just share because that's the thing is when it says we share keywords, it just you know, I haven't seen this card in like in play or like seen this card in action at all, but just that that's not a very descriptive right? Like it doesn't describe like what's going on. So it's okay, so it's but it is a when you summon it, summon attack, so it's not at all times. So obviously they get to kill everything. How am I resetting? That's the question. No, I definitely can't do draw three. I'm gonna need to get another elusive. So 
attack. So I need another elusive attack, so I need another six cost spell. Answers. I have them. I don't know. I don't know about I don't know exactly how we're gonna be winning this. We'll have to see. Gave elusive. I am unleashed. I'll admit that's not great. It's not over yet. The strafing strike's a problem, right? Because, like, I... Um... Like those kind of cards are definitely a problem. Fight spells. Alright, we're up to 17. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. We you get a big celestial for next round. It's not a big celestial. I become who I was always meant to be. It is not a big celestial. I was hoping for like the uh, six mana, you know, make an elusive and make a, um, you know, like the life steal and elusive. So we could, you know, maybe make an elusive with that, and mimic also make an elusive. Let's open for that, but then we we drew the three four. With in our hearts, we fly. Give me some more options. Always imitated, never duplicated. Okay, well, this gives us the possibility of a win. We spend eight mana on it. And we just gotta hope we make the 6-1 elusive turret. They're sitting over there that, like they have spells. Obviously, if they have spells, we have no chance. If they have a fight spell or a sharp sight, we have no shot. We have to have that be all units. That's our hope. But if it's all units, they wouldn't just be sitting here thinking, I don't think. Alright, random turrets. Let's hope we get the 6-1. Ah, oh, the five one, so close, so close. We were one number off. Victor elusive. So you're gonna start at three power. Three and then. Four and the next round five. I have to stun this. I really need to save this for Victor. But I also just have to stun it. With me. Fear me. Oh right, they're gonna have the dragon fight spell for Victor also. So I don't get to play Victor this round. Follow my lead. I'll 
take this one. I'll clear the way. It's not over yet. We have to get super lucky. I don't know exactly what we can draw. I guess that same card gives the gifts from beyond. That gives it plus two. Be this is gonna be three, then four, then five, six, seven. Yes. So we need another gifts. Gifts from beyond would do it. Kind of any other creative card does it. Some first map. Interesting. It's not a creative card though. I don't know if I can get up to seven. No, I don't think I can get to seven. That's the problem. Scout. Yes, there we go. Okay, figured it out. We need to hit Scout. Okay. Scout. We got protection from fight spell. Oh wait. We need to give it elusive first. Granted elusive and granted spell shield. Just give it a better chance of hitting Scout. All right, now Scout. No materials, no scout. No, tough. Oh, what a tough way to lose. Oh, so close. If they didn't have that last life steal thing, and I didn't have to waste my the whatever card, the card that we just wasted, the moon weapon card, because that you know the created moon weapon would have gave this that extra little bit. We still have Mystic Shot in the deck. That's true. Oh, they just have Sharp Sight. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, that's true. We we did have a couple of Mystic Shots in the deck. We gave it a real try. That was an amazing hand for them with the, the Double Dragon Chow Shivana. And then triple screeching dragon immediately right after that. Like that's that's really great. And then obviously they had uh, sisters at the top end too. So amazing hand, GGs. Okay, so they're all in Fiora, and I'm making a bunch of small turrets. Small, small turrets are easy to kill. Uh, so maybe I mulligan the production surge. Sunburst is great against Fiora, though. Like, the, Sunburst is perfect for this matchup. Like, this is the... That's, like, you know, the best card in the deck. Like, that takes out one of the Fioras by itself. Mm. How do I want to do this? Like how how do I want to do this? I'm not sure. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. They would fall by my blade. So we want them to use a lot of spells into the Fiora. Let them eat so I guess I just use it. Just the way I like it. Oh my gosh, that is so good. They don't know how this card works. They don't know how this card works. I think they just figured it out. Well, that's gonna help us. That's gonna help quite a bit. What 
seems to be the problem. Kind of guessing that's their only Fiora for how they try to protect it so much and how fast the, the pass was. Nope, I guess not. Never mind. Never mind about that at all. So I might have messed this game up by playing the Heimer. Yes, yes, again. <sighs> what can the fangs get me? card left. Woo, good. Risky because of repost. So you know they don't have another Fiora in hand or a repost. I went with this because... Okay, so I, I went with a proactive Bastion to just protect against... Oh, gotta love the hush. Went with a proactive Bastion to protect against a uh, Frostbite card. I don't know if they'd have that anyway, but... All right, that hush really helps. That should be game from here. We're playing some really weird games so far. These these two, they have been very weird. Ah, uh, they just drew the Fiora. Repose, they didn't have it the last round. Precision and grace. I'm gonna make them use more more pump spells, but they just they just shuffled their last Fiora back into their deck. Wait. I have Bastion on. That doesn't do anything. Yes, of course. Everything I've worked for. Okay, so one and one. It's a questionable game, but not every single game is pretty. Okay, Freljord Noxus with a Swain deck. Usually you see another champion here, you know, like a Sejuani or Vladimir or Braum. But just Swain. Like having the Victor and some kind of protection for it. It's a little slow, but I'm not expecting them to be real fast. You like the this Heimer art? Yeah, it's great. I'm 
gonna keep the mana to go along with the victor. Bask in her radiant blessing. I am the traveler. It's certainly possible we should just take the written in stars. Back heretic. I don't get to draw a card. Do I want to take four? Believe or burn. The future is still as science. Ingenious. Electroplating complete. It could be a calling strike deck, which would be sad. Cool. Yes, of course. Metal is perfection. We found all of our all of our victors. Loyalty through conquest. So elusive overwhelm, eh? Man, Victor's so cool. Just getting all these random keywords. Like, keywords are fun. Keywords are fun. Alright, so that's gonna be number four. Scout, let's go. Fight the signal fires. So I think they're gonna try like your thing that kills a creative card type stuff. So or like the damage cards are the damage cards. So I'm gonna keep. Guiding touch available. We're already at five out of seven. Pretty cards. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, break maker. Can you improve perfection? Electroplating complete. All right, taking the pass and having them waste all that mana. We know they have another Swain in hand, which is just going to be a ravenous flock right now. Metal is perfection. Electroplating complete. Lifesteal. If you want to leave. No, they actually finally attacked with that card. That was smart. I should have fallen commented at first. That was smart. Disengage. 
Okay, so you're a 7-5 Fearsome Lifesteal right now. Okay, I guess they'd... <laughs> they'll pack it up. I, I had a tough decision, because I don't really want to open attack, but I don't really want to play stuff first, because if I play stuff first, they do any kind of Nexus damage, they stun my Swain. We had a tough decision on like what to actually do there, but... Um, they decided... I guess they, they may not have had any way to stun the Swain, because I think I was going to play... I think I was going to keep playing stuff out. I was definitely thinking about playing the Heimer that round. Yeah, I meant stun the victor. Yeah, that's what I meant. Talia Malphite. Sweet. Alright, we got some landmarks. Hmm. Not the best opener. So not keeping Adaptatron without having the other tech cards. Kind of just want it for the other tech cards. Look at the fangs, it sits on the same place as Heimer. Why why did I say Heimer Victor as Victor? <laughs> Would you look at this place? I go, I go. Not the best use ever of a Mystic Shop, but it does trade mana two for two, I suppose. Just get this thing right now. I want the Fangs to have the Vulnerable, not Victor or Ballistic Bond. Moonglow seems pretty sweet with Victor. Spell shield on there before the new keyword. Wow, wow, all this water. What am I some tough? Lifesteal. Some quick attack. Alright, so I guess ballistic bot's gonna have to be vulnerable. Ooh, mechanized mimic is cool. But not yet. I'll get some more keywords first before you play out here, Mechanize Mimic. This could be a little rough. This is getting pretty rocky. Pretty rocky. Alright, so that doesn't kill me. Down to seven. Harsh only saves three life. Not really worth it. They said I can be whoever I want. You already are, and so much more. Doing that to get rid of Spell Shield. How, 
close are you to leveling up? I can't tell. Five out of seven? I don't know if I'm going to regret this because I'm you know, not holding up Bastion right now. But I need to do this, then next round we level it up with that X4 upgrade. Alright, so I can simply just attack like this to attack for lethal. Of course, there's always Hush. I need to, like, pre-Bastion. So I just Bastion right now and attack. They would have to have like something to get rid of Spell Shield and then also Hush. Alright, get Spell Shield back. Lifesteal. Seven. more bastions. Stop running. I mean, they just got me. Likely. I guess. Maybe not. Once I step in first, now faces. Our goals are greater than petty violence. They are my people, and Probably. and your feet on the ground. Do they have a unit that costs two or less? Like, that's the question. Do they have a unit that costs two or less? Like, basically, should I Mystic Shot the 6-2 right now? I mean, yeah, like, obviously there are some in their deck. Like, there, there are, you know, like, there's Rock Hoppers and the 2-3 the and Chips and all that kind of stuff. It's just, like, do they... Do they have one in hand? Is the main question. I hope not, because I just think that if, like, they should challenge with the 6-2. That's the best challenge by a long ways. And so you'd kind of have to assume that that's going to be their challenge. Nah, they had the Rock Hopper. Because it's, that's just the most, like, that's just, there's no real reason to challenge anywhere else. Mm, they did have the Rock Hopper. That's all that extra lethal damage. I could just like hope they just mess up and, and make a bad challenge. So you said Heimer would take away Talia's passive. Oh, just because from the landmark. I mean, it still happens. It just doesn't do two damage. It does one damage. But yeah, from they wouldn't have the landmark to make it do, teal, do two. But then they would also clear up a board spot and be able to play another attacker like that. All right, so Thresh Nasus. Hush is the card you need for Nasus, but do you need to keep it in your opener? I don't know. Like we're if we don't find Hush later, we're gonna be really sad. The Sunburst is good against Nasus as well. See what we see. Finally. 
The Emperor commands. The land obeys. Always forward. One mana deal four. Like, Doomkeeper being a 1-1 one, one, I think would be a good change. This thing being a 2-1 and making a Sand Soldier is pretty silly. Witness perfection, meat bags. Yeah, it's just one mana decimate. <laughs> if I'd forgotten them, no. It's pretty ridiculous. Not a play I want to make, but I think for how this, this game has gone and like how I'm gonna be I'm gonna my mana is gonna be really stressed. Um we're just getting that one one in play for this three one. Caretaker was the worst possible thing for me to see. Man, that's rough. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks. Yeah, one mana decimate that leaves behind a 2 1. Pretty dang good. It's not worth the one point of damage to have Victor then die to Vile Feast. We'll just go to six instead of seven. Really can't deal with Thresh. They have they have this curve and then also have Thresh. Please don't have Thresh. Have something else. Wow. What a life. Because you know, I just don't have the mana for Sunburst right now. Alright, playing that because I would want to draw the death ray too. Down to two. Best case scenario. Always forward. I mean, I guess I, I can either save Victor. Yeah, I mean, I just gotta save Victor. I guess I could stay at four and shoot one of those things, but we gotta save Victor. Yeah, some people like. Reckon normals. Ingenious. Bask in her radiant blessing. I wanted to find the obliterate in case they have Nasus. You don't really do anything. Yes, of course. Get some more credit cards up in here. Kept hush, my opener. Always forward. I should take a red and stars instead of messenger. Focus improvement. 
Okay, cool. This is gonna be a close game. They only have one card left. They don't get to draw those two. We're at one little life. One life. That's all it takes. Give them more free slays. Yeah, I could save the victor, but I also I needed to kill that Nasus, right? Like, I need to get that Nasus out of here. Cause like, like yeah, it's like how do I ever? The Nasus is always super scary, because it's just, just going to keep on growing, and I don't know, that, that thing's super scary. But, yeah, maybe I needed to keep Victor. I definitely should take Rin and Stars instead of this Messenger, but, I don't know, Messenger is fine. So this 3-4 card works that any whenever it attacks any keywords that any of my allies have, it gains, so it gained the... Uh, the lifesteal keyword. Alright, back up to eight. I got a four or five lifesteal. Got another lifesteal. They concede. Wow. We did it. We did it. Three and two. All right, so there was Victor 3000 with the Adaptatron 3000 and lots of keywords. I have to say I was pretty underwhelmed by this Adaptatron 3000 because the, you know, I, I was kind of focused on like the shared keywords part, but it is just the first part, how it says when you summon attack. See, it's only like whenever you summon it, then it, you know, then it transfers over. It doesn't continually transfer. I was a little, little underwhelmed by the card. Because uh, it's it's not that easy to summon Tex and um, and then have that you know do very much. But um, you know our Victor was still awesome. The Hexcore upgrades were really good. Um, you know to go along with our Heimer turrets that that count as created cards and Mechanized Mimic was pretty sweet. Being able to get all the keywords. Um, still definitely a very fun deck to play. Um, yeah. So there we go. That but that's Victor. 3,000. <laughs> That's just fun to say, too. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck um, and any other meme tier deck ideas you have, and hopefully you have fun watching these decks today, because we're doing some silly stuff like Adaptron 3000. <laughs> Next, uh, we're going to have Snap Vines with Blade Dancing with Aurelia Snap Vine. That will be pretty crazy. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Victor 3000. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.